What up in the Josh Boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes Banger. Now before you adjust your phone brightness or change your monitor settings, yes I am black from playing a dirt bike game. I got my boy Skizzy, you know him, little slime, little worldy slime king. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, I thought it'd been cool just to tackle another, you know, kind of track review with my boy uh, and start your systems 2024. So I'll let him take it away a little bit. So, guys, welcome to Start Your Systems 2024. This is a remake of the actual Start Your Systems test track that Stone Rider released previously, but he wanted to update it to the more 2024 standards so more people can get some practice in. And if you guys do not know who Stone Rider is, he is the godfather of Supercross tracks. He creates all the pro tracks throughout the whole season for, I don't even know how long, I think like since the beginning, like Ariel actually started. And he actually owns Ariel, the racing team as well. So he's definitely a big name in the MX bike scene for sure. So if you don't know of him, you might want to get used to that name. It's going to be everywhere for a long time, probably. This is very true. He's on the come up. Well, I mean, he already came up, but <laughs> <laughs> he's just uh, he's not he's not stopping, yeah. Yeah, he's still going, still going strong. I gotta oh say, gosh. dude, Reshade does this freaking track so much wonders. Oh, dude, it looks so good. Like it's very simple in like the environment side, but it still looks phenomenal at the same time. Hundred percent. I like the I like the rhythm sections. I feel like yours really big lines smaller lines you know at least that if you mess oh, yeah. up you could still be able to double out double 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 not too like one line i enjoy the sand yeah. now my question is did you play the other one because i feel like i wasn't even on mx bikes when the first start your systems came out yes i mean when i first was like saw the game the track was already out and i was watching i think i watched start your systems i think i saw kellen actually play his on track and that's how like i got into this track uh -huh. and i actually used this track to actually get the hang of supercross when i first started wow i couldn't do the track but yeah I tried. yeah <laughs> i felt like i felt like I, I this is a big thing and i probably this is a big thing for a lot of the community i feel like a lot of these tracks are really great but you know if you're not really good at supercross especially starting out you're definitely not gonna be able to try to ride the like i feel like you can get around and learn it as you go but yeah you can definitely see like this this is definitely scale for like the aerial season coming up so oh uh, yeah i don't think if if you were a beginner in this game i honestly don't suggest i mean I, i'd probably say download the track and check it out but i wouldn't suggest grinding out this one until you can get the basics of yeah down. i say this is a really good uh archive keep it archived and then come on here every like two weeks or so see like test your might you know yeah, a little Mortal Kombat action. Right? Yeah, you know? <laughs> Fatality. Yeah, I definitely agree. I definitely agree. Yeah. But it's a very good track. Stone Rider never misses with his uh, oh, absolutely cross not. Track for the most part. I like the little log jump over into the sand. It's actually pretty sick. Oh, yeah. yeah, he actually changed that corner. It used to be uh, from the end of that rhythm section, you could double into the corner and then. I believe you jump on top of the table. Oh, almost got the quad in. Like that. Oh! oh, I saw you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, goodness I think I seen that too. Like when I was watching the old one, man, people were like yeah. using that cheeky line going stupid. Yeah, oh, I don't think it was meant to happen, but. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, pe people exploit, you know, people, people get curious yeah. around here. Yeah, I shouldn't say the track is like super crazily hard, but. No, but it's definitely for the intermediate sort maybe ams a little bit Ams yeah. could definitely if you, you get on this track you might be you know might be chilling a little bit for ams when it comes to the difficult difficultiness but i think i think it'll be a good track overall to get practice on for sure yeah you don't want to just ride the test track 24 7 and it's free yeah you can't forget that part that's a huge thing about it like he came yeah. out with a free track and if anything it's still the like i said the exact same scaling for the aerial coming up you know yeah. so that's huge knowing that you still get the exact practice for a free track exactly and oh, he no. definitely could have released his paid too he definitely oh yeah this this track is like super worthy for a paid track but i'm glad that he you know kept that focus to know like hey here's an aerial test track for like paid but here's one as well for free you know yeah so shout out to stone runner for sure he's a good absolutely what it oh yeah, I don't know if you can get. Can you get the pop over the table? I don't know. If you can um, get the pop. I think it's really weird. I feel like you gotta sit down, and then as soon as it comes, stand up, and then boom, seat bounce in the air. I just hit oh, it. You, 
Oh, almost quad quad. Holy cow. That was actually really sick. Third gear that? Yeah, that was, thir that was third gear. Stood up like last oh, okay. second. Oops, sorry. Clicked the wrong button. Oh, but I, just, I hate when I do that. Like, I go to like scrub to try to like preemptively get angled up for the corner. Yeah. And you hit like the side of the jump and you yep. just, and then and just, just bike sideways. freaking sends you. Now, yeah. I see you're on the Husqvarna. Is that your is that your bike plan of action coming into the aerial? Um, or are you like kind of having options right now? I was thinking about just having options, but then I just completely gave up on having to put the time on all the bikes. And since I already use Husky outdoors, and then I use the Husky 450 indoors, I was like, yeah, I might as well just stick with the Husky and just keep it going, you know? Yeah, I felt that. Keep the train. If it wasn't for this, it'd definitely be gas gas, but, you know. <gasps> yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not the gas gas. I don't know why you guys decide to choose that bike, man. I don't. I've been a gas gas advocate for months now before everyone started using it, you know. But now I see everyone using it, and I'm like, now yeah. I'm just gonna seem like I'm a bandwagoner. So I'll just, I'll just, I'll get my little, get my little husky going, you know. Yeah. I just tried it again. I feel like if you hold the analog stick down too long, or you like try to seat bounce too quick, you will go over the front. I don't think my setup has the bounce to really to get that. Yeah, I don't think like, I have I'm enough. I don't think I have enough experience or like understanding of the game to get the quad quad. I think I can hit the quad. I just got to slow down for the second quad. There's no way I'm hitting it. Yeah, I'm just hitting like when I hit it, I just go. <laughs> oh my god! I, like it's like I, I compress that whole little lip and it just sends me like straight instead of in the air. Yeah. No, I think the biggest thing this year for me with this Kawasaki is I think I can really get through the whoops if like I really like practice more on them. I think that's the only thing I really need to conquer because at the end of the day, you're going to learn a section. You're going to learn it the best you can. Oh my God, see you later. <laughs> uh, you're going you're gonna to learn a section like whether you like it or not over time. I think the biggest thing is trying to, you know, put down that. That's oh my, oh my god! <laughs> Dude, you just sent me flying! <laughs> hey, yo! Oh my goodness! Dude, you just like catapulted me. What? I was helicopter. I, I was helicopter experiences, man. Dude, oh my goodness! That was interesting. All right. <laughs> oh, I want to get. Um. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I think that's the only thing that's gonna not necessarily make me struggle, but like eight, like you know, prestige and apex through them. You know, maybe I'm sitting at prestige yeah. one, and I gotta get to like prestige three, level fifty-five. Exactly, exactly. Then you got to get the master prestige. Yeah. Just continuously, just get better and better. Oh my goodness, dude! I want to hit that quad every time. I feel like I'm just like messing myself up trying to hit it, but it looks so promising and it looks fun. Cause I feel like I feel like if you practice it, really practice it, and you can hit a quad quad on here and races start happening. Oh, oh man, yeah. that's like the golden, especially for being on a on a 250. 100. See, I think my setup just throws me right on top of it too easily for an on off, so I might as well just go for that. Yeah. It makes it this smooth, so. I guess the second time around, I'm just gonna do that. Now, I also have seen something really cool is uh, right before the uh, the whoops to get really low, which I've been trying to practice. Uh, I don't do it every time, but uh, I like sit, I like right before I do it, I sit down and stand back up to get me lower, almost like a scrub into oh, the whoops. Yeah. It's weird, really weird, but actually keeps you really I've, low and it helps. I've, I've done that too. I actually learned that from Linz, believe it or not. I think it was on, I wanna say like around somewhere around there one of the whoops you have to come around this flat corner and get into it and someone asked him yeah how are you doing that he said i don't know how to explain it but i scrub into the whoops i'm like okay that sounds dumb like yeah you just scrub into the whoops <laughs> like, and, what you, you talking know, about over Willis? time you just kind of like you understand what he said there and it does help honestly get down low and like keep you from just allows you to skim across really easily but yeah no idea how to explain how to do it you just do it you, know? <laughs> you do I like literally do like i don't understand it, it but then when you actually do it, it's like oh wow that actually makes a lot of sense yeah oh my goodness i think my biggest thing right now is um i'm kind of like just over sending like i just got to let off the throttle a little bit more because i'm i should just let the bike carry me over 
Yeah, I think my main problem is I see the big line. And you're like, and mm, last second, hungry. I'm like, damn, I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I just stop. Oh, easy mode insurance, guys. Make sure you guys get that. That's why I just survived that little side flip. But, yeah, that's why um, I do. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I feel like if I just stop trying to go for some of these big lines, like this is the last, but I just, the, the big lines are just so tempting because you know you can pick up that little extra speed, get your lap time, just, lap time down just a little bit. And it's so t just too tempting, you know? Yeah. I'm uh, hungry for it every time. <laughs> I like it, man. I really want to try that Husqvarna out that you're on. The only thing is I rode the Husky so much the last OEM to where, not necessarily should I say I got burnt out, but, um, once again, I feel like I'm just on the rebel side. I mean, I feel like I, sh I should be talking. I feel like a hypocrite, but like, yeah. I wanted them to, to, to up the, the Husky so much, and they did actually. They made it a very viable bike. Yeah. And then like Kawasaki wasn't very viable. I said it was a hazard bike. Now all of a sudden it's really good. But I think I just fell in love with the Kawasaki. Like I, I think the only thing was that the Kawasaki was the fastest bike last OEM, and I stand by that. The only thing was like, they just didn't have the suspension right. So it wasn't, it, it wasn't like they're doing what the gas gas is to where like the bike was all around just poopy and then like they just grabbed what the Yamaha had in his gym bag, you know? Like, yeah. you know, like <laughs> I, I think, I think that's why I gave the Kawasaki its chance because like it actually, nothing was wrong with about speed or anything. It was just the suspension. But I don't know, the Husky was just underpowered. So I felt like same thing there. Like I felt like I could have gave the Husky again a chance, but it's just like, I don't know. I, I just did. I fell out of love with it very quickly. You know, the only thing about last OEM that I like about the gas gas, and I talk about this all the time, is that thing you can OJ and it just nothing happened. Like it just tanked the hell out of it. And I always thought that. Yeah. And I told people that and they didn't believe me, but you can send that thing and it would just bounce. Or what do you mean bounce? It just be like, it was just like a cement brick hitting the ground just stops. <laughs> it was so weird. But it was very enjoyable because you just like absolutely just in it. Obviously, you get this proposal bounce every now and then, but it was, oh my goodness, oh. it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Now, do you think the quad is possible? Like, I feel like. Which quad? Like, oh, after and, the finish line? And, yeah, after the finish line. You think oh, that's yeah, 100%. Right? If you, if you downside the finish line properly, you can do it. I just haven't gotten the downside properly to send it. If you're on 450, definitely doable without a doubt. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Probably a doubt. Pro two, <laughs> yeah, 250 guys that are like top pros can probably do it yeah. without a doubt easily. But anyone else, probably you have to downside the finish pretty decently to get it. Are you quadding that or? Uh, no, I'm not. You're like slow enough for the triple out? Yeah. Well, I think the line just kind of sends me for that triple. There's a quad right there that I can't Yeah, it, I seem that that one's like super hard. Like, I keep getting close to it, but not close enough. Might be a top pro line. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think the biggest thing is what's going to be really good for like if you're an amateur and under and all that just time on the track. I feel like being in an amateur that's the biggest thing you can really soak up is getting as much time as you can cuz that's where you're I guess for myself like I le I'm learning a lot is like taking advantage of that time that's going to give you as a amateur to where it's like when you want to become a pro you're not going to get that much time. Yeah. I definitely think a lot of people don't understand as well and you're doing this perfectly right now too is aside from just practicing obviously it's good to practice you know get a single player get in some servers practice but sign up for the other races on the my mxb and if you guys do not know what that is that's where like all races are hosted pretty much yeah the community you know just, just any little super cross thing sign up for all of them who cares you know do them even if you don't qualify even if you do qualify just get that time of you know Getting, get the nervousness out, you know, anxiety of like, oh my gosh, I got to set a fast lap, got to qual, you know, get that track time, putting in the laps, racing against people, mm -hmm. and that that will pay off big time. I think that's I, a, a lot of people get scared when they first get into their, you know, pro qualifying and they sell because they can't even put down a decent line anymore. Yeah. And I think what helps there is like when you try to do that, you got, you kind of see like other people that are in your percentile or like in your kind of same shoes around that time 
because like you're you're trying to see okay who's around here that's around my speed who's faster than me and then like you kind of be like all right bet what can i work on what was he doing better maybe consistency yeah. maybe he was getting around the track faster than me like what lines was he hitting then you go back and try to reiterate that in your own practice it'll help out a lot i think that's the biggest thing is i, I try to soak up as much as i can as a sponge because you do that man it, it, it's it's a different vibe for you for sure oh yeah 100 percent and even going into like, if you have time in your qualifying, say you uh, you ran a lap and you're, you don't know how you can get any faster, go into replay for a few seconds. Just watch the top guys on their laps, see what lines they're doing, and try to figure out which one of those lines you can actually hit yourself and iterate that into your own lap. And you know, there you go. You start picking up on yep. different things, start realizing more speed, and it's over. It's wraps from there. Yeah. Now I'm yeah. guilty as charged for that, dude. I I, I qualified for. Qualified for Portland yesterday, but I did not do that not once. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty <laughs> with you, bro. Like I'm not even gonna lie. I I did not do that not once and I felt like that probably could have like kinda of, kinda of played out to where if I would have seen what somebody else was taking as a line or like what they were apexing harder, oh my goodness, I probably would have probably would have ran faster than it's one twenty like a, a minute twenty plus point one. But I'm, I mean I was happy still with my time. Like yeah. I was only I was only two seconds off from actually being able to get into you know the the top 18 they take and i was fine being able to even qualify like that's the hugest thing like no one understands like don't ever be upset that you qualified and had a qualifying time but you didn't make the main or anything like that like i was yeah. absolutely beyond it like stoked <laughs> like i that was, was happy <laughs> yo not even lying dude like <laughs> like like stratos hit me up and he was like bro you know like you just like literally qualified with like sony pros in there i was like <laughs> I was just yeah, excited, you know? <laughs> like, come on, man. Exactly, yeah. Gotta, gotta be excited for the little wins as well, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, I, I can't think, I can't, I can't say, like, I gotta think you, Skizzy, like, I gotta think Stratos, I gotta think, like, Murph, I gotta think uh, Jay. So, so many people around us that I gotta think to where it's like, yeah. you guys made this literally possible for me to actually want to put in the time. Because I promise you, um, if, 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 if if I didn't think I wanted to do this as much as I want to now, knowing like how fun Supercross is, I probably would have stayed streaming and doing like so much motocross stuff and never got into it. But over yeah. a two week period, I literally just put in the time. That's... Your speed on Supercross has gone substantially yeah. better. <laughs> so all it is I now mean... is just like not talking <laughs> and actually focusing like, oh my goodness, that was a different vibe I'm... yesterday. I'm, t I'm telling you, when you, uh, if you ever stream a Supercross wall, I, I, having close chat, I don't talk. Say yeah, I'm not talking. just go crazy on it. <laughs> yeah, I feel that, dude. Oh, gosh. It's the hardest thing. I, like, I don't know how some people do it, like, how they, uh, you know, they'll, they'll be talking to chat and also doing a wall fight. Like, dude, I, no, I can't do that. Like, dude, I yesterday, never a regular race. Yeah, yesterday, I was, like, even, like, kind of nervous even putting the camera on, you know? <laughs> I was uh, just yeah. like, yo, all right, bet, let's just get into it. But really, to be honest, dude, I, I came out the gate, like, hungry. <laughs> I came, I, saw that. I came out with my first two, like, qualifying laps, like, like crazily like like back to back and then after that like <laughs> for like 12 minutes and i kind of like went down the gutter but you know I, I, I didn't matter like i was just like dang like i, I was hungry for it. you know i wanted it yeah which is good i mean setting a good lap like that gives you so much confidence in the beginning usually man oh, oh. i keep messing this up oh. Come I've on, yet cool. to set like a decent lap. Me neither. Man. Honestly, I've been just vibing, having fun. Like the tracks, yeah. track, track to where it's like if I actually take it out on my own time, I'll probably get really, really great with it. But I enjoy, yeah. I enjoy these conversations, man. Last yeah, time quad, can't. last time quad, me and you. I, I can't do it. I can't do you it. You can't do I, it. Oh, no, quad. Like, you see, I like quad. I did it. I did it. Oh, 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 oh. get parted, baby. Oh, <laughs> oh man. That's a W, Dude. man. Well, shoot. I mean, I don't got anything else to really go crazy off of, man. I think this is just a good good vibe out. Mm -hmm. Learn the track, practice around. Yeah. It's getting that consistency yeah. down. Any last little things you want to say to the baby daddies? Uh, yeah, we, we appreciate y'all for the support. I know um, a lot of people that support me also support Kessa and vice versa. You know, 
we definitely appreciate everybody that you know comes out to streams, just chats in Discord, all the diehard fans, all the stalkers. <laughs> <laughs> Felt that one. <laughs> so he makes it that far. To yeah. See that. But we do appreciate all of you guys, and you know, we, you know, we just want to be more inclusive. Obviously, I think a lot of the problems with this community is some people are very disheartening towards you know new players and stuff but no worries we got you guys covered yeah anything you guys need anything any help you know all of us you know we're here to help you guys uh, welcome to the community everybody that's new you know, i hope you guys enjoy your little stay at our little I'm John. You know, nice little thing we got going on here yeah get your capri suns bag of chips little lickies and exactly. chewies type john you know or licorice. I don't even know if anyone eats that anymore. It's been one of those, <laughs> <laughs> one of those in years. It's too easy, man. Oh, all right, pimps. I'll catch you in the next one. It's your boy, IBS Kelson, a little skizzy. Pop, 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 pop. Yes,